1.7 million, another million dollar HDB flat. So this unit is in Margaret Drive in the famous Dawson Estate. So this unit is 111 square meters, 5 HDB and it's on a high floor on the 45th floor. Wow, I'm thinking if the leaf break down, how ah? Lucky for the buyers, this HDB still has 96 years of lease left. And you may be asking, how to have 96 years lease left? Eh? Ah, this unit is special because it's a SERS replacement flat. That means the owner can sell 7 years from the unit selection or 5 years from key collection, which is your normal MOP period. So, no wonder so many people are asking me now and want to find out whether their estate will be selected for the SERS program. It's just like striking the lottery. But then again, oh, the buyer also very hot. Ah. According to the internet, allegedly, the buyers are a family with young children. So ah, I gave Bo a bit and go and check if they were to go and get a bank loan and if I assume their household income is 20k with a car loan of 1k, their maximum loan is right around the $1 million mark. So when you buy cash, CPF and loan, so with a loan of $1 million, the cash and CPF portion have to be 730 k and I haven't even factored in the buyer's stamp duty yet. Wow, they are really super hot. Ah. Then oh, I use the same number and I capo again. What if they choose a private property instead? What can they buy? So once again, I use our award-winning app called the Pro Map to look at all the condos in the Queenstown estate. The same estate as this $1.73 million flat. And I found not one, not two, but 300 listings. And I thought, why stop there? So let's see if there are any free whole ones. And surprisingly, there are 47 listings. And going through the listings, something caught my eye. There is this Three bedder freehold condo listed at less than $2.5 million, expected to TOP in 2025. So maybe they don't even need to rent before moving in. And that got me curious. What if they, using the same funds for that million dollar flat, can they also buy this freehold condo? So using the same numbers again, I can quickly calculate for them that they can take a bank loan of up to $1.8 million for a private condo. And assuming they have that 370 k in cash and CPF that they use for the million dollar flat, they actually have more than enough to buy a freehold private property in the same neighborhood. So did they make the correct choice? And if you were in the same situation, what would you do? Million dollar HDB or freehold condo? Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like me to help you quickly discover all the possible options, simply DM me and my team. Link around this video. This is Pete helping you take the next step with Singapore Property Pro. I'll see you in the next video.